Hello and welcome to Minisloop Academy. In this video, we will cover five powerful libraries in Python that every cybersecurity developer should know. I will show you how to use them with some quick hands-on examples that you can try out yourself. Uh, and then you can basically use them for, for example, ethical, ethical hacking purposes, network analysis, or uh, improving security in your applications. So first off is Scabby. So Scabby is a library for creating, sending, and analyzing network packages. And what we see here is an example of how we can use this uh, library to send uh, a ping request using the ICMP to see if a given target IP is uh, reachable or not. So it's basically similar to if you, for example, use ping in your terminal, you will see if you get a response. Here we have just done it in Python. So quite simple, but still quite powerful uh, if you want to add a script in a given uh, pen test application that you're building. Second off is requests. So this one is quite popular and I guess you, most of you have been dealing with this before when you have made Python scripts. Basically, it's a library for making HTTP requests and it's typically used or often used in uh, APIs or other calls where you are using Python to call a resource uh, on the internet. But here we are simply making a, a GET request uh, to a given uh, website uh, to see which directories are uh, available on that particular host. So here we are basically brute forcing uh, the list of the directories that we have defined here. So here we have admin, login, and dashboard. And then we are just seeing if these are available on the given uh, URL that we have posted. So it simply just loops over these, make the request, and then it will print if it found something or uh, if there is nothing available. So you can kind of add a, a huge list of common uh, directories and then quickly brute force through these with this symbol script. Next off is Socket. So Socket is part of the Python standard library and it's a perfect library for low level uh, networking. So here we have made a simple uh, port scanner. So we are testing for three different ports, port 22, port 80 and port uh, 443, so 433. And in this we basically again, we loop over our array or list of uh, ports here, use the library to make a request. And then basically if there is uh, a port open uh, on our uh, request, we will print out and say, yes, this port is open on this particular IP. And the IP is basically just the one we put in here. If that is not the case, it will uh, print that the port is closed. So this is also something that is very useful within pen testing to check which port on a given web server is available uh, through the internet. Because if a given port is open, that is not supposed to be open, it is uh, a way for malicious users to uh, exploit the application. So you need to be aware of what ports is uh, available or open uh, to the broader internet when you have a web application or server running. Next off is InMap. So InMap is a network scanning tool. It also comes as an application. I have, uh, we have videos here on the channel displaying how InMap is to be used, for example, in Kali Linux, where it comes pre-installed. But compared to using the actual application uh, InMap, here we are using the Python uh, library where we can build our own scripts instead of being limited to how the application is defined uh, when we install it uh, by, de by default either in Kali or on our own machine. So here we can actually make scripts that uh, work towards our particular goal. And here again, we are just simply scanning for which port is available on a particular uh, IP. So this is just one use case. There is plenty that you can use this for, and it gives you the freedom to work with InMap outside of what has been defined in the InMap application. Last off is PyCrypto. So this is uh, a library that you can use to encrypt or decrypt messages. So here the example is quite simple. We have a given uh, key and we have a message that we want to encrypt. So we have the plain text here. Then we use the library to encrypt this. Then we print the encrypted text. And then again, we just illustrate that we can actually also decrypt this. So we decrypt our encrypted message back to the original uh, message. So this is one that you can use if you have an application that needs to communicate uh, messages or strings securely, then you can encrypt and decrypt these uh, vice versa. So this was quickly uh, five uh, Python libraries that is good for you to know as a Python cybersecurity developer. 
Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time here on Venus Grove Academy.